morning everyone welcome to my channel this is creative cooking in Ani's kitchen and my name is Ani I'm gonna bring to you this morning some pumpkin baklava which I'm getting ready to make and I wanted to show you the ingredients now yesterday I went ahead and boiled the rest of the pumpkin I had uh, in the refrigerator and as you can see, I went ahead and just spooned them, scooped them out of the skin, which is very easy to do. And I boiled them actually with some sugar. But it takes a whole lot of sugar for pumpkin to get sweet, I'll tell you what. So I'm going to use some of this pumpkin I boiled yesterday, naturally. I got two sticks of butter. I don't know if I'm going to use it all. I'm only going to do one layer of baklava. And I'm going to melt that. I went ahead and crushed my walnut, as you can see. Okay. And what I did was put them in a Ziploc bag and just hit it with the meat tenderizer on the smooth side. Not this side. This will break the bag on this side very gently until I got them to get uh, real nice and dusty and choppy so you're gonna need a cup of sugar you're gonna need a cup of pumpkin you're gonna need a cup of brown sugar uh, some water eventually and uh, two sticks of butter okay Here's my brown sugar. And of course, you're going to need your phyllo sheet. And I have mine right here. And I'm going to put this in my pan. I need a baking pan. So, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We've got the nuts in there, and we're going to go ahead and put in our sugars. There's one cup of granulated sugar. Go ahead and give that a mix. So one cup of regular sugar, one cup of brown sugar mixed in with the nuts. We're going to take our butter, pour some in the bottom of the pan. take our phyllo dough 
put it right there. There's a lot of layers of dough here. I've got like, I don't know, 20 sheets. Let that soak in there. Okay. Now, to these the snap mixture, I figure I'll put in some pumpkin pie spice. Okay. Some cinnamon. So that we're gonna add some ginger. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg and then that'll be it. We are going to lay down our pumpkin first. Okay. Now we're going to put the nuts on top, move you a little closer, So this was about, let me see, I had this bag here with nuts. And this is one pound, and this is about a pound left. I said it was a pound of walnuts, nuts, and I crushed them, and then you saw the rest. Put our other sheets of papa, a filo bread, rather. Okay. All 
All right, I'm going to put the rest of this butter. a bit before we put it in the oven. Now I preheated my oven to 350. Okay everyone it's time to put this into the oven. In the oven it goes. Now I'm gonna think about maybe 35 to 40 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'll let you know how long it took me to bake. Be back. Okay, well, here it is, folks. Here's the baklava. Look at that. Beautiful. Pumpkin spice baklava. So now, this just came out the oven. I need to make the syrup to pour over top and I'm gonna show you that next okay so you take half a cup of sugar half a cup of water and stir and when that sugar mixes in with the water really well it becomes a syrup When that water runs clear, it's done. I'll bring you back when that happens. Okay, once that is mixed in there really well, take it off the heat, and we're going to add some lemon. If you don't have fresh, you go ahead and use uh, lemon juice, it's fine. Okay? So we have sugar, water, and lemon. So now we're going to bring you back over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. Okay, make sure I cut this right. I like to do the long way first. Okay, one, two, three. I like to do just one, two, yep. Um, You go straight down. Three lines. All right, so now in a diagonal. Done. Cutting. Now we're going to pour.
Got that in there. Back in the oven. Just for a few minutes, not long at all. I'll be back. Okay, folks, well, here you have it. Just five minutes in the oven. Uh, 350 five extra minutes and look how nice and syrupy beautifully crispy that looks we are going to let this cool off and I'll be back with a plated piece and I'll taste it I thought I was recording and I guess I wasn't so I cut off a piece it came out real nice, very easy to spatch stuff. I've already eaten part of it, <laughs> thinking I was videotaping. Right here. Let me show you all. This is so good. The pumpkin in this. is delicious kind of helps to offset all the sweetness okay from the rest of the baklava now you pick it up with your fingers and eat it all in one piece but i don't know why i'm using a fork <laughs> mm -mm -mm. delicious so good Mm. I'm going to finish eating this with my coffee. Yo. Yeah. Mm. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Over to the right, there's a bell. Tap on it if you want to be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Until the next time, please, girl, take care of yourself and one another, okay? God bless you. Bye.